Okay, in this video, Mackenzie Hughes just won on the PGA Tour at Sanderson Farms. Let's take a look at this player. He's won once before, so now two total wins from Canada. Very interesting swing, so let's take a look here. Uh, pretty tall guy, about six foot one, and he gets the club a little bit steep in transition. Certainly can be trouble. His driving stats don't look that great. He's less than 50% on the greens in regulation. As he winds it up here, great swing, backswing plane. Base a nice strong position at the top, starts to drop down, and that club gets extremely steep. And even with the driver, you'll see in a couple of the pictures here, or videos, that thing is too steep at this point to be really consistent. This one here, it gets steep. He tries to stay down in it as best he can, but you can see he's got to raise up, come up out of this thing to shallow that club out. And he's coming up, but Pretty much gets the club on plane there, just the handle a little bit too high. This one got a little bit deep past the pin up against the old grandstand back there, but that raise up can cause some flip if he's down and rotating super hard and can get that thing to, to left exit enough. He's in business, but that must be difficult on a week in a week out basis based on these angles. With this driver, you can see here the ball way up in his stance, trying to really protect from having the club track too far out here, which would get that push hook combo. But once again, picks it up there, winds it. Short swing. Looks like club face in a strong position up there. As he sits down and pulls, that club just gets steep there. And that's a very, very steep angle to recover. And based on the stats, he doesn't recover it that often. As he raises up, the club will always drop this way as your head is coming this way. And a lot of times it's gonna to drop too far. He comes up, handle gets off the plane. You're gonna get a lot of twist at the bottom down there on the days where you aren't rotating really aggressively with that upper body. This one here on the last round, based on view, we see this driver here. One thing you see from, even from the down the line, sometimes it looks like he gets a compromised pivot motion, where as he's winding it up, his hips are marginally moving in such a way where it's almost like the right hip is trying to ride high. And when he changes direction, that spine is trying to ever so slightly tip left. And in some of the swings, you can really see there's more of a tip than others. But anytime that spine is going to happen to tip this direction, then that club is going to get steeper in transition. And we know at this part right here, that's where he's getting into trouble. It's steep and narrow. That elbow in close isn't a problem if it's coming down shallow like a Sergio or somebody. When it gets steep in there, then you're going to have to get up and out somehow and raise those hands up to try to get the club back in behind the golf ball from the right angle of approach and also the right swing plane angle. And that movement then creates a lot of crossover at the bottom where this twisting motion is hard to control. So in a lot of ways, I think it could be cured relatively easily if he was rotating and winding up with more angle here and was staying on that angle more throughout the swing. Of course, after struggling for a couple of holes, even in the playoff, got about a seven, eight footer for birdie and just knocks it right in, true to his great putting stats that he's had all year. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Mackenzie Hughes, thank you so much for watching. If it's your first time to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. And we'll see you in the next video.